What's up guys, it's your boy here, Jersey Flex, in today's video. As you guys could tell by the title of this video, we're going to be discussing how to take the SARM that everyone kind of already knows about, probably has already taken, but we're going to discuss in great detail in case you don't know or want to know more about how to take this compound, RAD140 test alone. It has been around for quite a while as a way to replace testosterone therapy. So we're going to kind of discuss a little bit about the dosage, what you can expect to feel, what I felt kind of thing, and what you guys can expect all from running RAD140. I did make a video quite a while ago discussing more about RAD140. If you guys wish to watch that entire review I made on RAD140, it is posted here on my channel. Before we get into anything more, I'm going to ask that you guys go down, crush that subscribe button, support this channel as you guys know. Any help that helps this channel grow is much appreciated. I love all of you guys. And let's get into discussion about Rad 140. Boom! Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. There's no going back and I'm loving the, I'm loving the chase. up guys welcome back as you guys saw in the title or the intro rather uh i always put this at the beginning of every single video that i'm not your medical practitioner in no way shape or form am i your doctor i'm not advising you guys to take anabolics steroids or any kind of drug in any way shape or form if you guys are considering taking any form of anabolics please contact your doctor first as I am not a medical practitioner. Have to say that at the beginning of every video, so uh, please bear with me. So I would say Rad 140 was probably one of the first things I ever took, black market wise, and I used it for my rodents. My rats got huge. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know that joke, uh, it is only legal to be sold for animal and veterinary purposes only. So, yeah, my rats got massive. They were bench pressing like 4,000 pounds within a week. But no, um, I do have to say that Rad 140, alongside with LGD, which I'm going to make several videos on LGD and Carterine and all that kind of stuff as well. Rad 140, in my opinion, was probably one of the best um, SARMs that I tried. And for those of you guys who don't know what a SARM is, a SARM is a selective androgen receptor modulator, which I will make a separate video explaining in greater detail how a SARM actually works and what a SARM actually is. So bear with me on that. But Rad 140, so let's kind of begin discussing what I experienced. Believe it or not, Rad 140 was actually one of the compounds that made me break out the most. I know that's not what you guys want to hear. It's kind of weird, but testosterone, trend, deca, winstrol, anavar, all the things that I've ran did not make me break out the way Rad140 did. I do not know why. I cannot explain to you why. Um, probably the increase in anabolic activity. I have no idea. It's kind of weird because you'd expect an androgen, which Rad140 is not an androgen on its own. But I also ran this right here, which is an over-the-counter uh, pro-hormone kind of thing, which I will make videos on it. DHEA, kind of weird because as soon as I introduced DHEA into the stack with Rad140, I noticed my back broke out really bad. And it was really freaking weird, but... That's just something from my personal experience, which I will make a video explaining my entire experience on Rad140, but that is just something for you guys to keep note of. Now, the main reason you guys clicked on this video is to learn how to take it. So, as you guys do know, which I mentioned prior, it was originally designed to be a way of replacing TRT or hormone replacement therapy, in other words, testosterone, because people do not want to inject themselves. So having an oral form of increasing their libido, which Rad140 did increase my libido, I'll say that, um, is definitely something that people want. They want the oral form. They do not want the injectable form. People are scared of needles. They don't like pinning. Pinning is a turnoff. 
Um, so no one wants to be a pin cushion. That's why Rad 140 was kind of designed alongside with Austrian and all the other different kinds of uh, SARMs. So what I got to say now, this is the moment you guys have kind of been waiting for is the dosage. A low, low, low dose of, um, of Rad 140 would be five milligrams daily. That is a very low dose. And that's probably what the, they, they were putting guys on in these clinical trials clinical trials, sorry, 2.5 milligrams to 10 milligrams tops was probably what they were testing these guys at. I'd have to refresh myself on that data, but um, 20 milligrams is kind of what I would cap it off at. I wouldn't be doing more than 20 because this is a compound that has liver toxicity. Um, people claim that it has minimal liver toxicity compared to other things. Obviously, D-ball, in my opinion, is probably the worst for your liver alongside with methylated trenbolone, which is the worst. Um, but there is minimal liver toxicity, according to the forums and the gym bros that have reviewed RAT140 in the past. Am I a firm believer of that? Not really. I think anything and everything has its own forms of liver toxicity. And, you know, you should always keep in mind to take your milk thistle, your tudka, and all those kinds of liver supports. I do recommend drinking... Uh, between a gallon or more of water daily when you're doing RAD 140. And I also recommend taking some form of liver support, even if it's a basic milk thistle daily, because it's just not good to avoid your liver health if you're trying to get jacked and juicy off these compounds. It's kind of just ignorant. So keep in mind, watch your liver. Five to 20 milligrams daily. This could be 10 milligrams in the morning, 10 milligrams in the afternoon. But the thing with RAD 140, it's something that stays in your system for about a day to a day and a half. So it's not really necessary to take a dose pre-workout and in the morning. You could kind of take it all in the morning, all in one shot. Kicks in within an hour, same as every other oral, 30 minutes to an hour, you kind of feel it. Uh, it takes about a week or two to fully build up in your system, same as it would with D-Ball or Winstrol or Anavar or any other type of anabolic versions of oral compounds. Because let's be honest, it's not an anabolic steroid. It's a SARM. It's a selective androgen receptor modulator, which I will explain in a separate video exactly what that does and what that means. So... That is basically the simple way to take it. It comes in either capsule or dropper, liquid dropper form. Uh, I recommend the capsule form. So this is the thing. The capsule form or tablet form, it's going to come in a pre-measured amount. So it's going to be 20, 30 milligrams, 15 milligrams, depending on the size of the capsule. And you can't really break that. If it's a capsule, you can't really measure that and say, oh, I want to take 10 milligrams instead of 20 can't really do that with a capsule, at least not effectively. Um, using a dropper, you can say, okay, one full ML is 20 milligrams. I'm going to have half a dropper, and that's roughly 10 milligrams. The only difference with that is you don't really know the concentration of each time you pull from that, from that dropper. You might have a higher concentration in one milliliter that you do today as opposed to tomorrow. So you might have 25 milligrams in today's milliliter. Tomorrow you might have 18. You don't really know the concentration that's sitting inside that suspension liquid. So it's easier to cut your doses up, but you don't know the exact numbers with a dropper. And capsule, you're kind of, you're gonna definitely get the same amount every single time, but you're gonna be stapled to that quantity. You can't cut it in half or do anything like that if it's in capsule form. So. That's something to keep in mind about taking it. Uh, I think that kind of covers everything about taking it and gave some brief knowledge about the compound. I will go into greater detail explaining SARMs and my personal experience on RAD140 itself. If you guys are interested in watching those videos, go down, hit that subscribe button, slap that little bell, so that way you guys get tuned and notified when I post these videos. I love you guys, and let's roll that freaking outro. Boom! No!